cannot build peace on a foundation of lies. Any peace that is built on a foundation of lies ultimately uh, collapses uh, on the rocks of truth. That was true in Europe, and it's true today. And we have to speak the truth. The first truth is that to have peace, we must have mutual respect for other people. This is what we seek with our Palestinian neighbors. This is what we seek with all our neighbors. I was deeply concerned when yesterday uh, a Palestinian official, a Palestinian authority, said that he envisions uh, uh, a Palestine which is free of Jews, Yudhura. I think this is a disgrace. And I expect this to be condemned by the Palestinian Authority because we want this mutual respect. We want two peoples living side by side in dignity, respect, and peace. And we also believe that the way to achieve this peace is through direct negotiations. There is no way to impose uh, peace by diktat. If anyone knows that, uh, certainly the people of the Czech Republic knows that from their own memory, and this remains true today. Uh, I uh, have decided to convey these twin messages of direct negotiations for peace uh, and the quest for peace through um, the quest for the truth. I've decided to take this message to the United Nations General Assembly when I speak there next week. Now, I know that the General Assembly is not a place where Israel gets a fair hearing. I know that the automatic majorities there always uh, uh, rush to condemn Israel and twist truth beyond recognition. But I've decided to go there anyway, not to win applause, but to speak the truth to every nation that wants to hear the truth. And I know that one nation that knows the truth and speaks the truth is the Czech Republic. So I take, again, extra pleasure in welcoming you and your colleagues here in Jerusalem. Welcome.